morning, so it's here that we're going to have the dynamic slab. And uh, you just need to swipe in your card, as you did for the register. And the door is open, and the lab is going to be upstairs. So we are now in the uh, dynamic slab, where the rotating balance uh, assignment is going to be uh, done. And uh, we are looking at the, the rig at this moment. Now I'm going to set it up for you really, really quickly so that you can have an idea on how to operate the equipment. So, first of all, this is the machine. We have here the control switches. Underneath we can see some rollers. Here we have the masses that we can add and they all have a weight which we can measure on a digital scale. So, to operate the machine, basically, what I first do is to open the door. It has here this knob with a safety switch and I just pull it gently. Now what I'm going to do is to place the masses on the rigs that you can see on these discs. These discs, by the way, they have uh, graduation. I don't know if it is possible to see in terms of degrees. I have now placed my masses on the on the system. Obviously, what I'm going to do is deliberately unbalance the system for, for you to see what happens. And here, for instance, I can see that I have some weights attached. All right? They might not be correctly. There might be some problems here. This is just an example. I'm going to close the door and I'm going to run the system. And to run the system, what I'm going to do is to operate it using these knobs. So this one I rotate to the right, this one I push down, and this one I rotate to the right as well. And now the system is, as you can see, rotating, the motor is rotating, and you can see that the system bounces up and down as well as it rocks a little bit. So this means the system is so unbalanced. After very hard working calculations that I obviously did, I am now going to show you that the system is perfectly balanced. So, again, the procedure is the same. I'm going to turn it on by operating the machine like this. So this one goes right. Sometimes it doesn't latch. I have to do it the inverse way on this, on this, and now it's going to start rotating. And what we can see is that now the machine is perfectly balanced, and I know this because it doesn't bounce or rock. To turn off the machine, I just reduce the speed on this knob, I turn this button off and now I rotate this.